And I thought about my history as a, as a geospatial analyst in the military, and I was like, what about maps? You know, like we all use Google Maps, and we use it quite frequently, you know, like I use it all the time. And so I went on to Google, and I was inspired by some captures that happened organically of drone crashes or drones flying or whatever, and I created these one-to-one -one scale shadows on rooftops throughout Manhattan, um, and Brooklyn, and Pennsylvania, and Mexico City, and all, all, all over the place. And then what ended up happening over time was that they actually got captured by Google, uh, <laughs> Google satellites and became like an organic part of the digital landscape of our cities <laughs> of the press because somebody in Brooklyn like discovered it when they were like looking at their neighborhood and like what the hell is this? <laughs> Excuse my language. Um, and found a number of them all over the city. Wait, so these are painted on these buildings? Correct. They finally produced a one-to-one -one scale version of a predator drone. And the Predator drone to me is very symbolic of the drone war. You know, it's, it's kind of the, the genesis of this whole program, and, and it's also highly reproduced by other nations and uh, still sold to other nations. And I've been inflating this, uh, this huge sculpture around the city, and, but I'm actually going to be staging a new public uh, event, and it's coming very soon. Uh, October 7th is the beginning of the first committee meetings at the United Nations. Um, and it's all about disarmament. Uh, nuclear weapons are obviously among the topic, but also drone warfare and autonomous weapons. Um, and there's a number of NGOs that are involved in this conversation. I have partnered with Nick Motern of, of No Drones, uh, some of the local chapters of Veterans for Peace. Um, crit uh, Reaching Critical Will will be publishing the artist statement in the first committee um, uh, weekly monitor. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be inflating this in front of the United Nations with a very large contingent of, of activists, but you know, like sort of like public art performers as well. So you know, the call is out there. If anybody's interested, you're more than welcome to join. And if your local denominations would like to join, we'd love to have you. Uh, we're gathering as many people as we can to walk from Grand Central Station to the United Nations, inflate this piece, and. Uh, It's a Diana. So again, what I want to do is use the public space as a way to create art in a, in a shocking way. You know, like, um, I think too often we are motivated by fear to not do things, but I think we have the opportunity to, like, to, to, to create bold statements, use bold imagery, and, uh, and use the public space to, to create a discourse. You